My faith sometimes seems to crumble at the edges. And I wonder why I still constantly try to find the ledges so I can know the ledge. Know the ledge. That knowledge sometimes forces me to pledge to a higher being so I can have some clearer seeing all three eyes open so I could be steadily scoping for the next ounce of hope around the corner. I don't want to be a goner. I want to wake up and be up on a new horizon. I want my faith to grow stronger. I am tired of the gut punches and the left and right hooks that I seem to endure every day when I wake up because the world doesn't see my vision or my perspective. Perspective, perspective. But I still try and remain collective, all out collective of thoughts mixed with positivity, inspiration, affirmations, motivation, and all those kind of things and a better feeling conversation. So I take that and I mix it in my pot so I can have my own personal pot of gumbo. So when it times for me to flow, I can rock that spot. I can rock that spot. I can rock that funky joint. I can rock that funky joint. Not smoking to get high. No, not that joint. Not a Spike Lee joint. No, not that joint, but that joint so I can feel anointed in my mind and free from the stress and read in between the lines and know that I can confess that I will make it past adversity. Adversity doesn't define me. So sorry. Adversity doesn't define me. Adversity doesn't define me. Adversity doesn't define me. Adversity shouldn't define us. We should find a positive light and move towards it. Find a positive light and move towards it. It is among us every day. These different spirits and movements and things that we can say. We can speak into existence a better being if we just want to see it. Togetherness. Shouldn't be so hard to finesse it shouldn't be so hard to conquer. It shouldn't be a difficult conquest. It shouldn't be a tug of war. It shouldn't be a tug of war. We shouldn't have to go there. It shouldn't be a tug of war. So back in the days when I wanted to embrace peace and I understood that peace stood for positive education always corrects errors. Positive education always corrects errors. Errors. So I want peace so I can end this terror. Make the world a better place so we can understand love and it can be written on our face. Because love stands for living outside of violent existence. Love stands for living outside of violent existence. So togetherness with that peace that I just mentioned before. Yes, can be a form of resistance, resistance to despair, depression, racism, homophobia, sexism, and all the isms, nepotisms, and all the things that follow. Peace stands for positive education always corrects errors. Love stands for living outside of violent existence. So we can wrap that in all of those forms that I mentioned and be a form of resistance together, together, together.